In this training video, we're going to look at printing and printing settings within Microsoft Project. So for example, right now I've got a recruitment project where a baseline has been set and the actual project is behind the baseline due to a constraint of where the engineer manager is unavailable due to long-term absenteeism. So if I look at the print of this with the default settings, now the default settings for the time scale of Microsoft Project is days for what's called the bottom tier and weeks for the middle tier. Now this is what controls the printing settings within Microsoft Project. So if I look at how this looks in print with against a standard A4 print, I can see looking at it, yes, I want the columns to look roughly like they are now, duration, start date, finish date, that's fine. But the graphics, I can see the baseline graphic. If I go forward with an arrow, I see some more graphics, but the information's on page two. Go again, another one on page three. So right now, if you print it on A4 as it is right now, you're going to have to, in effect, stick the three pages together somehow, roll it up and take it to a meeting and talk about the printout through three pages, which are now, which are now taped together. So we could get around this by going back into project, changing the time scales against what you can see against duration. So duration, 62 days, project works to a 20 day calendar month. So it's just over three months. Now to affect the time scale, I can actually double click in the time scale area. So I'm gonna double left click. I'm gonna change the middle tier, which is the week segment. So project has three tiers, but it only uses two by default. And the middle one is the week segments. So I'm gonna change that to months. And I'm gonna make sure I've got a year format. So I know what you, which year I'm in. So there we go, I know which year I'm in. Bottom tier, I'm gonna change two weeks to the count of one. So what I'm doing is I'm shrinking the time scale, as we can see in the preview down the bottom here. I'm gonna click OK. Now that looks much better for printing purposes. So I'm gonna try and get the graphics as close as I can to the to the columns without putting it over too much. So I might go back a bit, but now I'm losing a bit of text on the end here. So I might lose some of my uh, resource names. Now if I want to get it perfectly in, I might go back to the time scale. Say months is fine. The bottom tier I want to go to maybe weeks to the count of two. So every fortnight within the month. So count of two. Now it's shrunk enough to show everything within the graphics. So the gray is the baseline where I, should, where I should have been. The blue is the actual project where I am now. And I can see all its resources. So I might try and get this pretty close to the, maybe a bit too close to the dividing line. Go back over. That's good enough. If I go into file print now, It's on one of one on page on A4. A lot of people print on A3. So I could go for A3 print, not a problem. I can go up to A3. And if I had a bigger project, they would then print in this page and this part of the page. If I wanted to add notes, I can go into settings, click the drop down arrow, click notes. Now a second page comes along, click the, click the right hand arrow, and I can see the reason for the delay. So project in effect doesn't is not set up easy for printing. It takes some work on the time scale to affect its printing and then looking at settings like and the print whereby we can print notes. That's a useful setting as well as whether you want A3 or A4. But this gives you an indication of how to print in Microsoft Project and the setup that's required to print in Microsoft Project. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.